that. Um, do, 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 do. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hello. Ugh. Uh, so who so help me explain to my chat who is uh Camila Cuevas or Conalingus Cuevas? Uh okay. So she's uh, as you can see, she's like one of those uh uh big people in the Undertale uh community. Uh, I think okay. she got started doing like stickmen animations in that community. I have no idea. Um, and, and then, uh, like, I knew about her from 2017, 2018. Okay. Timeline. But, uh, in October of 2022 was when, uh, Crystal Flame came out about, uh, everything. So... My biggest question is, is Camila a predator or is she just an enabler? Uh, there's been no proof that I've found. I've got quite a lot of the uh, actual glitch tail logs, so I feel pretty confident saying that I don't believe she herself is a predator. I've got like nearly her like years worth of oh, all Jesus. of her chats, all of her chats all exported. I'm oh still my going God, through them. They're <laughs> They're all in zip folders. I remember doing that with some people I was looking into. Jesus. The zip folders. Yeah, it's folders. like, it's all, it's all folders upon folders upon folders. Uh, oh, I'm trying geez. to, I'm hopefully trying to get like a whole Google Doc of ev like everything relevant. So I know exactly just how many adults were enabling this stuff, blah, blah, blah. So it's still going through. It's a long process because it's, it's years worth but um, no, from what I've looked at and everything that I've been able to skim through that a human being can, um, I've not been able to find any evidence of her being actively predatory. The most I've been able to find is her um, being as close to a predator as humanly possible without preying on any individual kids herself, uh, such uh, as what is, her what does being... That mean? Such as, um, uh, so I found like a Skype group that she was in with a load of kids and oh, active predators. Oh god, it's predators. always a Skype group <laughs> with these people. Ah. Yeah, so <laughs> I found that out. Uh, I don't know how much you already know or how much you've already gone over with, uh, I'm, with your I'm chat going, as well. I'm going in fresh. I'm going in You're raw. going in fresh. Yeah, yeah. so um, I'll, try, I'll try and keep as, I'll, I'll try and keep the timeline as easy as possible. So, so like, back in 2015, like, she started a Skype chat you know what? with her uh, other, with Veer, who was her co-writer and boyfriend at the time, who was writing Glitch Tale, Strelok, who's the audio designer. What is Glitch Tale? Is it like a... Oh, what? it's a really, is... it's a really shitty Undertale animation. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, all of this stemmed from uh, Undertale? It is literally, you don't understand, Undertale is one of those, uh, purely by this situation alone, and based on how every single Undertale creator has enabled this woman, right up until it damages their PR if they don't say anything, which, again, most of them don't because none of them care what she's done. I'm at the point where I'm just like, if it's not a child who's into Undertale, I'm side-eyeing them. That's how bad this community is, but God. it's... God. <laughs> Lyo, <laughs> Lyo, you retweeted this, and I, I DM'd you, like, yep. when I was at work. I want to I wanna figure it out. Um, well, uh, he I, just has all the information, and just to make some things clear for those who aren't aware, I only, only supplied, like, moral support, and I yelled at a couple of creeps while interrogating them during all of this, and of course, you know, dicking with the douchebags on Twitter. Everything else, like, is 100% peaches. She's sharp as a dog on sword, smart as a whip. This, this woman knows exactly what she's doing, and she's really good at it. So she's very peachy keen. 
I'd hate you for that, but I'd be a hypocrite if I did. <laughs> yeah, you make those jokes too, old man. I do, but I think mine are classier. They're probably not, but I think they are. <laughs> so, oh my god. Like, this, uh, this is why I never got into video game communities. Yeah, so to Jesus. to get a quick timeline, uh, since he's starting fresh. Um, where do I start? <laughs> where to start? Oh, wow! It started what? way back Why in 2015. What the hell? Started back way back in 2015 when she was first making group chats with kids and her pedophile boyfriend. Um, <laughs> <laughs> pedophile boyfriend? Yes. Uh, that's that's literally how it all started. I've got chat logs that prove that she knew that he was a predator since 2017. And the only reason I've only got proof from 2017 is because Skype, uh, when we asked for the archive logs for all of uh, Crystal's Skype history, which was one of the victims, uh, it only went back as far as 2017 that it had archived. Uh, well, so Discord only exists. <laughs> oh, you're talking about Skype. Skype, yeah, Skype. Yeah. So even though they had the group chat since 2015, we can only get as much as 2017 uh, sorted out. I've got a couple messages way back from 2015 that they're able to have just Kilo by kids share kids sharing things. But besides that, it's uh, a mess. So wait, she animates all this. Oh, es un Latina. Fuck. I am sorry for my people. Oh, you don't understand. Uh, Nick's the Shield, the music composer uh, yeah. and friend of Camilla, well, not friend anymore because they squabbled over th money and clout, I guess. But uh, Nick's the Shield, who was also a part of all these Skype chats and was sexual with children and was allowing and, and enabling it, uh, he, as another Lat uh, Latino, Turn around and said, um, child predation is a Latino thing. No, and it's, it's very not. normalized. No! 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 What the I'm fuck? I'm sorry to tell you. Apparently that's true. <laughs> why? And why, would, why would he go on the internet and lie? I have to believe him. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and this. What the fuck? Like, I can fully say, yeah, there are, like, pretty big age gaps in Latino culture, but there are adults. Adults. Like, yeah, you're able to call it creepy, and I agree. Like, an 18-year-old dating, like, a 28-year-old. That happens in Latino culture. But pedophilia is not part of it. Yeah, um, apparently it is now. And when I called it out, uh, when I called it out saying, you know, this is stupid, especially since uh, Nix the Shield lived in America for the longest time and s until he went back to start living with his wife. Uh, so he, he knows, or well, the police, he literally said, he's Latino, it's a Latino thing, therefore... He doesn't know what police is, nor that he can call them about things like this, despite the fact that he went and saw all of these people. Um, <laughs> uh, he basically, fuck. Yeah, he, he... When I called it out and basically said, no, this is all a bullshit, he started saying it was racist to call out everything that ever happened in the in the chat because bro it's just it's just that culture apparently well good f lucky you you got a latino <laughs> on the case yeah that's why i had a <laughs> that's why i had lio uh, um voices Based. lines for my video <laughs> <laughs> i wanted to hurt one... him a little bit you, I had to hurt you got him a little bit with the Latino thing. <laughs> yeah, you got one crackhead Latino that's addicted to Transformers, and then you obtain a second one. It's just insane. Um, Is that what the British do now? Do y'all, like, collect Latinos? Yes, I guess so. That's what, I guess that's what I'm doing. 
<laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. Uh, so no, I, I've had a lot of uh, back when I was uh, fleeting through the Undertale community, all of that mod group, Camilla, all of her mods uh, are very anti-British. So I guess they're just extra pissed off now that I'm not that I don't think uh, diddling kids is a Latino thing, nor should it should nor should it be normalized. But I'm, oh well. I'm so I'm so <laughs> confused. Well, the real fun kicker is like he he pointed out that he had said something, and uh, Peach has actually got it translated, not just like through Google and whatnot, but through other people who speak specifically Chilean dialect of Spanish oh. and completely decimated his entire point. So he's trying to claim racism now. That that was hilarious. The only the only other thing during all this that was kind of uniquely interesting is when one of the other predators, because Peaches here has caught like sixteen of them at this oh, point. Oh no, it's gotten to twenty it's gotten to twenty four. What a four of them! Oh, God. Yeah, we had one decide to come in and try to, you know, answer questions. It was a guy who went by the name of uh, Ditto Duck Penguin, mm, and yes, him. that what dude lost fuck? his mind when we did, we didn't accept anything he had to say and just wanted running out of the call screaming about how we're hateful and all this stuff. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> we'll be hateful, I guess. Then what the oh, that fuck. That specific one, actually, since you brought up Ditto Duck and I mentioned how they hate the British, um, he was he was live streaming his conversations with me way back when. Back when I was just having more of a tiff with Camilla, which isn't you know, it's drama rather than the actual serious shit. Yeah. Uh, way before I knew about any of this, he turned around and said, uh, "I deserve to be sa'd," if you know what I mean. Oh my because god. Of it, because I'm British, and it's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, being calm British, down, lad. Being British <laughs> is a reason for rape now? What the fuck? Yeah, apparently. That's what all of that community thinks. But me saying, maybe don't touch kids, uh, or anyone who's under the age Big of 18, and only do it if they consent, channel. then apparently it's bad. Oh, new channel. Oh, yeah, I did hear she did a uh, new channel. Okay, so what is all Cami games one day ago? Like, is she like streaming this? No, these are VOD re uploads from her Twitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for a while. Um, whenever uh, things started getting bad for her. She would start streaming a lot, but she would disable the whole uh, live chat. So I don't know what it's like on her Twitch, but a YouTube, you just couldn't say anything. Please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. I thought I lost my mind and started hearing God saying, die. <laughs> uh, I, had I think one God's telling out. a lot of them to I think God's telling a lot of them to die, but not you. Don't worry. I'm no, just sorry. I was repeating. I was, I was repeating something that Camilla said in her quote unquote apology video. It's like, you know what he said to me? You know what he said? Let's play League. Let's play League. See, so yeah, what, what, what is it to not, you know, not throw you down a load of meme rabbit holes? Like, is there any specific <laughs> timeline that you wanted? Or? Um, so. Beginning is basically pedophile boyfriend. Yeah. And then after that, it becomes what? What happens yeah. with the boyfriend? <laughs> so Camilla was on and off with this guy for since 2015. And she was uh like he was very horrible and very explicit and definitely has small dick energy. Uh, he kept getting with a load of kids and getting images from them. And Camilla actually knew about it because kids would tell her that he had these images and she wouldn't care. Um, so when one of the kids started getting a bit older to the point where they got to 18 and started realizing what had happened due to going to therapy, due to uh, one of uh, another predator trying to get with them, which uh, Camilla and her boyfriend knew about, by the way, and not only knew about but encouraged them to meet up for a bit of a uh, devil's tango, if you will, when they were underage. 
uh, when they finally went to therapy and came through that, they came to Camilla and was like, you know what, I've, I've realized that your boyfriend, Veer, has been, you know, inappropriate with loads of kids. And they came, like, them and a person called Victim B, who I've spoken about. And B was a girl, and Crystal, who came out, was a cis boy at the time. Or at least uh, when the events took place. And Camilla's like a massive transphobe, so they just continued to see them as a dude anyway. Um, <sighs> Camilla, was more, Camilla was more offended at the fact that Crystal was implying that they could be um, homosexual than the fact that he was getting nudes from a once 12-year-old victim B and getting a guy at the time, Crystal, to uh, bait little girls into conversations with him. And then she's turned around, acted as if they were all cheating on her behind her back acted as if it was all the all the kids fault and basically told them to go kick rocks and she kept them in the server this was back in 2020 and she, um 2021 comes around and that's when the drama with me because i'm so cool and i piss everyone off was going well, you down you are british <laughs> So <laughs> I know, I guess I just, it, it's, it's just, in it's your just blood. a part of me, man. It's, it's in it's your blood. Me, you got to colonize. You got to be a colonizer. I tried so hard and got so far, but, but um, the end, it doesn't <laughs> even matter. But yeah. So that was all going by and Camilla wanted to get a slice of that, like clout pie. She's absolutely insane. So she got involved bro. with, she got involved with two other commentary communities commentary channels called prison mate luke and hotbox both twats and um... <laughs> prison mate luke that is not a name i've heard in years that yeah. guy is fucking weird dude he's a weird guy i remember bit... i watched one of his videos and it's just very strange is he still around no he um he didn't like it when people told him to uh improve and not be shit at his content. But, uh, so when but Crystal But my TF2. Through, but my TF2. I know. Who else is supposed to play fucking TF2 while making shit boring takes to God. fucking game end yourself to? This is, so, this is why my whole thing is I'm just a little guy. That's the best way to be. Exactly. But, I piss off people. I start... I also helped in breaking the commentary community again awesome but so but camila yeah. is just doing this shit yeah so when crystal used camilla's connections with prison mate luke and hotbox to go to them about veer Camilla finds out, pretends that she's never known, even though she's known since 2015, that the guys are fucking nonce. And they're all like, wow, I never knew about this. You should have came to me, blah, blah, blah. You know, just until Crystal goes to these two creators and goes, okay, she sorted it out. The moment, like that, like fucking... <laughs> like the oh. moment they sort it out Camilla's like right now delete all the evidence it's not your it like you're not allowed to do this you can't do this and also it's all your fault and I and they're just like yeah well you know this is th this is the proof with me and then they show it to Camilla and she's like yeah I remember him saying stuff like that but it was just fucking jokes it's just jokes so uh, she kept him around <laughs> until November of 2022 that's when she finally booted him but um we found out you know, she does this whole crying thing on her Twitter. I think it was a Twitter, like oh a fucking twit longer. She She's all like, oh, Twitter? I never knew. Yeah, she does the Twitter. But she was all like, oh, I never knew. I never knew. Let's and see. we found out we found out that she was playing League of Legends with him still. <laughs> and hanging out. <laughs> League of Legends will be the downfall of society. It is a shit game for shit people and pedophiles. It is. That's what I'm always surprised when it always comes down. I'm I'm like I'm surprised that it's always League that <gasps> catches people Every out. Every Latina has a crusty eye white dog. <laughs> 
Lyo, you can confirm this too, right? Like, look at that. Every Latina you will ever meet has the white, crusty dog. <laughs> You're not wrong on that. You're not wrong. Like, and it's always the crazy ones. Source, I was I was engaged to a New York Puerto Rican. <laughs> they're, they're nutty. <laughs> Fun, uh... but nutty. So this is, let's see, Twitter mob mentality, Sekiro. What is this? Why does everyone write whole ass thesis papers? I have no idea. This guy, Devour, um, is her second co-writer. And I found a whole server where they were, they went into a child server, posted a load of NSFW content and kept posting pictures of middle school girls going oh yeah this is what i want this is the this is the kind of people i want to bang and was being you know pedophilic all around and when i confronted camilla about it they're just like well they're not as bad as this so lay off <sighs> what the fuck my account camilla Wait, their Discord accounts were taken out. What? Hmm. Weird. I know a lot of people were getting a... Uh, so, like... Killed. killed. So, Not wait, wait, time. wait. She used to have a Discord server, or is that, like, for her, uh... Oh, what? Camilla? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Camilla did. The most I was able to find of her being creepy in there was, um... A chat for um, porn and stuff for kids <laughs> that they just allowed. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it spoken about in the mod chat because uh, again, when I say I've got all of them archived, I had someone with admin ad access who was able to archive porn everything. Porn for kids, so. everybody! Everybody, and get your porn. Doesn't matter if you're a kid or an adult. Get your titties here. Get your titties. I also had another I also had another section where somebody was reading like hentai around uh you know like in the general zone and like this general VC and uh, the the kind of call you know when you get like your first role where you can just come into the server where you don't have any yeah. other access they call them greenies so Camilla was mad, not that they were doing that and not that they were doing it around people who are like 12, 13 years old, but because they were doing it where anyone could see. And she specifically said if you did it in the trusted area, which I've been in that server myself, and the way you get trusted role is just being there for a month. She's like, you can do it in that place, but not here, not where everyone can see. She's like, I don't care if you all read loads of porn, as long as it's just not around where in, in the too open where anyone can see. Just I'm share scared. share it to kids privately, more privately than that. Just be more discreet. <laughs> just what the fuck? I can't show what I'm looking at on stream. In case she's out here liking porn on Twitter. Oh, a puppy. I can show this. Look at that. Bench. I don't think Camilla herself likes that stuff. The most I've been able to see of her engaging in that stuff is that she was drawing five-year-old characters getting done by uh, a woman who we also found out was a predator. And she did it specifically for her. No shocker. I'm just glad my auto zooming camera fucking is adding effect to my fucking psychic <laughs> damage. What the yeah. fuck? She then um she then lied publicly when people found out that um this woman Artie Chan uh, had a whole server where she would share not just specific NSFW, but Lollycon to children, along with Strelok, who is her audio designer, as well as other people who worked on her series. When that came out publicly, that's when Camilla's like, I had to let her go because I found out she's into Lollycon. But I found messages of Camilla drawing Lollycon for her and finding it amusing she get off to it. And they discussed it around children as well. 
And all of it's this stemmed from... Wait, uh, so she's Chilean, right? Yeah. Uh, makes sense. Chileans are gross. <laughs> As a Latino. <laughs> the, the sad thing is, is that, like, I've got people who follow me who, who you know, are from Chile, and they're just like, yeah. what the fuck? Why are they saying that this is fine and... Latinos do this and Chileans do that. And I'm just like, of course they don't. It's just that these people, instead of recognizing that there's a problem, they're just like, we're just going to fucking normalize it and teach everyone who follows, everyone who follows us all that this is fine to the point where they constantly talk about sex around children. It's disgusting. This animation contains spoilers from Undertale. All I know about Undertale is that there's a plant and a goat milf. Mm-hmm. Oh, and That's a gay it. fish. And a gay fish. Yeah. So, this is what gave her clout? Mm-hmm. Wait, is she a false flagger? Not to my knowledge, but... Okay, good. I got worried. Okay, I already don't like it. <laughs> no, no, it's shit. Simply Does it ever shit. improve? Or no? When she starts tracing, it gets a bit better. So, like... <laughs> This looks like something you'd find on Newgrounds while you're drunk in the middle of the forest. <laughs> like, this I sounds think most like... most of the people who worked on it were drunk, like, stumbling about in the forest. There were multiple people that worked on it? What? Yeah. Oh, the there's a audio DeviantArt. designer, all of that shit. Okay, she has a Patreon. How many people? 1,000 members? What? Wait, wait, wait. 1,000 people support her? Yeah. What the fuck? And her DeviantArt. Okay. Does she draw this or does she just trace it? Um, let's see. The kind of art. Uh, I know that she does a lot of collabs with people, so they do the whole sketch and she just colors it afterwards. So but, um, she's more of an inker rather than a sketcher. Yeah. Okay, okay. And I did find out that the people who she asks to do the sketches are also children 90% of the time, so that way she can sell the art afterwards and not give them any money. She's just bad all around. Why do you do art commentary again? Uh, me? Yeah. Um, because of people like this. And I thought the martial arts community was bad. Oh, this is terrible. The art commentary community is terrible. Like, don't even get me down to that rabbit uh, hole. They don't even, I, they don't no, even call out the you, right people. <laughs> no, I'm, I am going to drag you down that rabbit hole real quick, just as a palate cleanser. Oh, the yeah. worst people in there are. I I can't say that. I can't choose. Come on, choose your most hated child. Um, I can't. I genuinely can't say because my experience with the art commentary community was when Great everyone show. went in lockdown. Oh yeah, creep show art is terrible. But like, I don't even know if I can say she's the worst anymore. Because at least oh she my fucked God. off. <laughs> yeah, but, like um, when I reached out to her when she got doxxed, she deleted her whole Discord. I reached out yeah, to her being she, like... Oh, she fucking lies. She's, she, I doubt she got fucking doxxed. I genuinely do. I doubt because, it, like, but I reached out just being like, hey, are you okay? I've dealt with this. If you need someone to talk to, then it's like, fuck, slugs here! Ah! <laughs> No, yeah, no, art commentary communities are absolutely god awful. The whole reason why, like, I find it atrocious that, um, 
during lockdown, obviously, you know, when people either were getting handouts and stuff or they weren't earning money because they yeah. weren't in, you know, they weren't working. Um, my thing was obviously to do commissions and then just to talk oh. about like whatever art shit. Nice. I'm and because back to I commissions now. Yeah, and when I got to the point where I I wanted to um, pop my own clogs, I guess, <laughs> and didn't. <laughs> the in- wait, wait, wait! <laughs> what did you say? Pop my own clogs off myself. Punch my own ticket. Um, pop when the cherry per se, I don't. <laughs> is that like a same? <sighs> pop the cherry is something completely different. <laughs> Lyo, help! You're the adultier adult here. Uh, that's questionable. Um, I would hope popping a clog and popping a cherry are not one and the same. There are people who are like that. What uh, Peter is saying clog? is removing. Yes, she said pop her clogs. That means removing herself from the census in YouTube-friendly ways. Yes. I didn't want to. I didn't want to help demonetize you too severely. Oh, I wanted to I've, keep that I've been live. Okay, wait, wait, wait. We have like 45 seconds, then we can say <laughs> shit. Because after two hours, you're Gucci. Plus, a majority of my monetization comes through memberships and uh, donations. Oh, nice. And dog but, videos. Um, interesting. But no, yeah. I was... When I wanted to do that, and I didn't, you had a load of people, like... Who all got into a fucking group chat together? Go, oh, she just found out that she got groomed and she's distressed about it and all of this stuff. Let's all talk about petty drama that we had years ago with her that was already resolved. Like, really petty stuff. Like, I soft blocked Shannon um, on Twitter months before this point. I, um,. Had I had an argument in a comment section with another person called Omnia, which I'm probably sure that oh they are still that ob- fucking god they are, Omnia. They are, they are that obsessed with me. They're probably watching this stream right now just because my voice is here. How um, do they know? <laughs> How they are obsessed. They are that obsessed. They tried. They literally admitted on their own Twitter that they were stalking me and was trying to find out about my personal relationships to the point where one of them sent a friend request to my boyfriend, like my boyfriend's Twitter, uh, not Twitter account, his Discord account, and he doesn't even have social media. That's how fucking insane they are. But they were doing all of this stuff because I tried to die and they're like, oh yeah, let's do that to push her to kill herself. So, um... To do that just so I wouldn't have um, any monetization, any of that. And you would think, with how insane it was, especially since Prison Mate Luke was the first one to make the video where his literal video was, well, she wanted to die, but now she's not dead, even though someone literally said they talked her down. If she was really suicidal, she'd do it and prove it to all of us. Instead of anyone going, wow, this seems really disgusting, the entire community, and I'm not joking, the entire art community was like, oh my god, Mummy Creep Show is supporting this. We also support it. So they made like a whole load oh, of videos. Boy. To the point Hopeless, where I-, <laughs> I feel like you you understand my pain that I've dealt with with the commentary community. They got to the po- yeah. They genuinely got to the point where people like Mini Lad, Onision, Kiro the Wolf, like maybe Onision falls out just because he's also a meme, but like <laughs> Camilla Quivers by a mile. All of them got all, all of them got less videos made on them than I did to the point where people were like like and I had people actually admit this to me. Where they're all like, oh yeah, uh, I made that video because I really wanted Mummy Creep Show to like poo spy video in a community post because you were doing that for all the videos about me. They're just like, yeah, so I kind of did that. And then you look at a video and it was her pretending to like talking um, as authority as a nurse saying, yeah, no, all of her mental illness is fake. And I'm like, are you going to apologize for that? No, they're not. They're not gonna. They're just going to pretend that they were manipulated. And I'm like, seems pretty fucked in my brain. But what do you know? So you know, the art commentary community is there's no one I can choose as like the worst. That all horrible. Fuck the communities. Fuck the art commentary. Fuck the commentary community. 
commentary was a okay with me being doxxed and my parents being doxxed like that shit yeah, was insane it's it's horrible they're all horrible and look like, we just need to put yeah. our pants on one nipple at a time and i don't understand that what do you mean it's a reference to a moist critical song you know, I was saying they don't understand that. They don't understand we're all the same. We're all human. Are we? I guess. Well, they're not, I guess. If You're they're British, making content though. like that. Shut the fuck up. I can pretend. <laughs> pretend to do what? <laughs> Be human. <laughs> Bio, how, how, do you, how do you feed a British? Do we usually eat? usually you let them you let them bully you into oblivion that tends to feed them the best of my experience so at that point it's like okay we let the british bully but what do we do with the tea uh actually fun fact she's not really big on tea no i hate it you can throw it into the harbor for all i care i don't i don't give a shit what the fuck are you <laughs> so well according according to one person who made content on me uh, i'm not actually british i fake it for attention my only sense. question is why would i pretend to have a mancunian accent of all fucking things but whatever. what the fuck is a mancunian <laughs> that sounds manchester like an std bruv. manchester bruv <laughs> oi bruv peach and leo all can bully slug that he bought. Shut up, Chanry. Shut up, chat. Chat, shut Wait, up. No, no, you don't. Tell me what you bought. Come on. I, no, 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 no. Wait, you, you got Twitter blue? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, you fucking did. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No. That's actually funny. What in chat to bully slug? No. We're not bullying me! I oh, did it so I you could... did! You did, you motherfucker. You, Look, you I did it so I could out. have... So I could promote my overlay portfolio for commissions. Because I do good okay. work for that. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. For commissions, I'll allow it. Because for yeah, some reason, like, Twitter's like really, really mad about commissions. If you say commission, it's just like, no, I don't like it anymore. Yeah. Like, Still look at that. You, yeah, it's very you're British. Nice. Well, look at this. Like, I make all of these by hand. This it's one beautiful. I like a lot. I've been trying to figure out one for Lyo, but all uh -huh. I could think of is, like, commissioning some animator to animate, like, a super sexy RC. <laughs> Just you stop. dancing. You stop. <laughs> Why? Should it be oh, Windblade? I don't what you should do is make I it super no. furry. <gasps> I, just because I say no, nah. yeah, I say no to RC furry. doesn't mean I immediately want Windblade instead. You, no, I certainly don't want a furry. Yeah, you so do. Wait. You are a furry. Wait, wait, wait. Elita 1. No, not Elita 1 either. Hmm. I don't know. I say furry. I say furry too. Lyo's probably <laughs> planning to kill us now, isn't he? No, he can't I'm pretty kill sure anything. He's five foot four. We can I'm bully five him. Foot four and I'm the size of three tipsters. Yep, you are. Damn straight you are. <laughs> know your place. Did me and did me and Hopeless just become friends through chaos? Yeah. Based. In fairness, if I was the size of three tipsters, my place would literally be everywhere. How how would you put you your own orbit, son? Oh, God. Yes, tipsters now make... a, a unit of measurement slug. God, I do make <laughs> thumbnails, though. This one's my favorite. I've been dealing you with a what? crazy lady that defends Lolly. Uh, and ew. incest, too. She oh. believes... Her name's Ember Lily. So if mm -hmm. she ever shows up in your chat or community, get rid of her. Because she okay. will snake her way to try and take over your community and get rid yeah. of anyone who disagrees with her. She defended... I, I, think, I would like to think that my community would disagree with the whole incest lollycon thing. She said <laughs> that it is not incest 
if they don't know. It's not incest, it's wincest. What a <laughs> smart woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... That's going to be cut out of context. I'm not going to hear from <laughs> <laughs> the next time I'm cancelled. I'm fucked. <laughs> Welcome to the Slug Empire. <laughs> oh, I should invite you to the server. A friend of mine hosts, like, watch parties for the UFC and MMA fights. Damn. Yee. I'll get you the creator role and shit. So you can randomly pop in and bully me while whenever I'm live. Um, I love bullying people. It's my favorite thing. Well, you are British. Do you want to be a Jewish mollusk mommy or a mollusk mommy? What did you just ask me? <laughs> <laughs> so there is This a is hold on. This is why you get bullied, slug. This right here is why you get bullied. I'm not what do I do? I don't believe in any god, <laughs> so I would presume I not Jewish. Okay, so you will be a base, uh, base tier mollusk mommy. Okay, or we could. We also have non-binary options if you're into that stuff. Uh, we I are mean, very inclusive I... in the empire. <laughs> It's not that I'm not into it, it's just that I'm not one of them. I was about to say, you know, you know, <laughs> your speeches, if you're into non-binary, not if you identify with, but if you're into it. If I'm, if... <laughs> Wait, I have a perfect one for you. So many questions. Don't no worry. Answers. Don't worry, it's perfect. I'll put it right above the creator role. And oh, right above... Yeah. So choose image. Okay. Oh, nice. Right. Fuck. United. <laughs> God damn it. Where's the British flag? Can you, My do you dumb? Have, can you not find it? Do you not know what a British flag looks uh, like? Do you I need help there, buddy? Do you not do you not know what the Union flag looks like? Uh, can you help? Okay, I found the Australian. <laughs> That's kind well, that's of similar. not me. <laughs> okay. Um, I found the Swedish flag. There Wait. you go. I found. Look, it's it looks H like M. this. Ah, here we go. <laughs> and we will make it. Blue. There we go, and then your role is now British Mollusk Mommy. Uh, thank you. I feel I feel seen. And uh, Lyo's role will just be Boomer. Oh, A England. Slu Look, chat! I dated a New York Puerto Rican. I can barely find red flags, and it's all one color. <laughs> Real quick question: Is the is the woman you're talking about the one that stole your Pepsi? It was not Pepsi. It was Dr Pepper, and How it happened she? again. It happened again. How did you it, let it happen again? I was asleep. I wake up and I hear the like click of a can, and I'm like, I have been Good. awoken. <laughs> so you didn't think to hide it, knowing full well she did it it's once. It's in the fridge. The soda belongs in the fridge. Mm -hmm. Well, you know what? I, I tend to be against this, but this time I'm totally victim blaming. Why did you allow that to happen? <laughs> victim blaming is badass. You deserve, you deserve the lack of Dr. Pepper. My Dr. Pepper. <laughs> God. It, it sucked. Okay, so I want to know... Where did you get some of the assets for this? Uh, for what? For this that I'm screen sharing. For what? No, what are we doing? As far as I'm concerned, Veer oh, this. the static, the static. Oh, well, that was all Crystal Flames doing. They made an intro for me. I'm not very. I'm, I have iMovie. That's what I use to edit. They made a little intro for me. I did good. 
by asking them to you do that. Have, <laughs> you have iMovie. <laughs> I do art commentary, and there's not a lot of like heavy lifting until I ask it to put one too many pictures in, and then it like dies. But I have know. a feeling like down the road I'm going to get a commission from you for an overlay, and it's mm-hmm. just like make it British but not trash, <laughs> and then I just make it American as fuck. Based. Exactly. Then we just hide references to Lyo being a furry. That's true. He is a furry. Exactly. Like, look at his profile picture. Absolute furry. He's absolute furry. Disgustingly furry, even. <laughs> Makes me sick to my stomach. Does it make you want to colonize? It makes me want to euthanize him. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Thank God we are two hours into the stream. We can say edgy shit. You could have dated is that edgy mo- or is that just a statement of fact? Both. I don't know. I have three microphones. I actually have four and I don't know why. Uh, it's all right. Because I have two you need microphones to be and- heard. You need to be heard, son. Well, every time I buy a microphone, somehow it doesn't want to work right. I constantly have issues with my mic, regardless of all the work I do to try to fix it. Yeah, That's probably. Nobody wants to hear you old, man. See, the elderly need more YouTube tutorials. That's what, that's what, you know what? When art commentary finally fully dies, I'll just make, a, Dude. I'll just make tutorials for like super old people. <laughs> and furries, super old furries. Jesus. Specifically. Honestly, fucking normal commentary died because, like, Augie's gone, Diorio doesn't do shit. The only people there are, like, small people around my size, and it's all moral mm-hmm. grandstanding while condoning the same shit they condemn. Yeah, and then the art commentary community couldn't admit to the fact that, despite the fact that they say that they are mental health advocates, every single one of them had a nearly fetishistic, like, glee from kicking down anyone with actual mental health issues, and then they couldn't say sorry about it. So all the people that were sat there, like, building their audience with, like, oh my god, I love mental health, that is then like, oh wow, this is a bit embarrassing. Should we apologize? No. So all just died instantly. (laughs) Jesus. Jesus. Oh my god. No, like, the the point from how how common it was before Creepshow was around to the moment she was outed, and people go, you know, she was terrible the whole time, right? Everyone's just like, oh, uh, she uh, manipulated me, and then they jump from, like, a three-story window and, like, run into the woods. Hoping to never be seen again. Then they're like, the British are coming. The British are coming. <laughs> the British are coming. She's riding a furry. Yeah, I would never do that. <laughs> they are look, they are legal transport. I would I would Gross. never unless you talk about the cat from Totoro, the cat bus. Um yeah, cat bus. Or I'll uh, I'll ride the cat bus. Wait, at that point, is a Cerberus a furry? Yes. I meant to say centaur. (laughs) Still yes. (laughs) I meant to say centaur! (laughs) What the fuck? (laughs) God damn it! Yes, everything, yes! (laughs) Wait. Are fish furries? Uh, they're scalies. I hate that word. <laughs> they're like, they're like Spock to tech. They're scalies. Oh my god, Spockter is fucking weird. He's a fucking gecko with no brain. You can say that again. But let us continue. Squad squad behind my back, and I still wouldn't be mad. Fuck my doing getting money. God damn, praise the Lord. As far as I'm concerned, Veer could have dated the whole mod squad behind my back, still wouldn't be mad. I was made a clown of. Jesus Christ. By the way, if you, the, the whole mod squad. 
with children. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll go through everything for you. And no, yeah, yeah none, none of this none of this has proper kinergy. What did you, you just did say? He's trying to reference a film that he hasn't even seen, just to look cool. Correct. Not to look cool, because you have taught me what kinergy means in this context. No, I haven't. Clearly not enough. <laughs> you have? You, why are you bullying me like this? See, the British keeps bullying us Latinos, my brother. We must rise up. Like the Aztecs. We, we can't do that. We're too busy at work. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> We're out in the fields now. Master oh got God. me working. Oh my God. What is that song? That was a good song. What the fuck? Don't worry. I have it linked. Based. Best known as the creator of Glitch Tale. Consider a friend has openly defended a groomer and a lot. Oh, God. Is there still a Discord server? No, it got nuked. Well. What the not fuck? Not by Camilla. Not by Camilla, by the way. Somebody else yeah. with admin access. <laughs> oh, Yeah, Jesus. you gotta tell him how it happened. It's freaking hilarious. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, Crystal Flame. The person who was victimized uh, started getting friendly again with Camilla, which I was worried about. But I found out that they were playing the long game, so they, which Camilla then gave them admin access to the server because they thought that they were friendly again, as they were weeding out more predators. Which, by the way. Uh, as suspected, nearly every single moderator, uh, I think it got to the point where it was every single moderator, for that server, who wasn't a child, was a predator. <laughs> um, so once, once Crystal was you... able to get the information for every single one of those predators, and, you know, to be able to file to the police and all of that stuff, Camilla was still in her own server, mocking the victims to the point where she was taking the piss out of a, a kid who was victimized, who still is a kid to this day. So Crystal uh, set it so a bot that they had in the server um, auto-deleted every single chat and every single room, everything all at once, and... It just kind of crumbled the entire server, like, in a second. And then it Jesus. kicked everyone. God. It was kind of funny. Hello everyone, and welcome to the channel. There have been some serious allegations that have come out about a YouTuber named... Why Why does your avatar look like she hoards Oreo cookies and throws away the icing? Because she lives on the fucking edge. <laughs> no! That's so wrong! Uh, no! Don't make me do it. That's Don't make so me do wrong. it again, bitch. <laughs> why? Camilla Cuevas. On October 14th, a user by the name of... I, I don't like the mouth. Maybe that's just me. And here's why. It's so smug. Yeah, I'm smug. Get over it. Crystal Pussy. Flame made a Twitter thread detailing their grievances with the handling of a predator situation in the official... The Glitch Tail Crew. Jesus yeah. fucking Christ. I don't... I, God... Jesus Christ. Glitchtail Discord server, a public server owned and moderated by the aforementioned YouTuber Camilla. In this thread, Crystal points out Camilla's inaction and dismissal of a predator in her Discord community and mod staff. These allegations were brought to my attention ahead of You drew it to hide a giant ass forehead, didn't you? Huh? 
the character. I didn't draw this one. I I commissioned somebody this time. Why did they give you such a big forehead? Because it's full of secrets, bro. It's Your not full of brain power. It's not full so of much, secrets. It's full of po power and knowledge. You wouldn't understand. Knowledge. Knowledge. The time yes. earlier in 2022, and to be honest, I didn't expect to be making such a video. Due to my public past with Camilla Cuevas, something irrelevant to the topic of today's video, I instead pass this information along to other, more experienced individuals. Is the artist that you commissioned a furry? Because that looks like a furry mouth. Uh, not to my knowledge. If they wear, that's fine. I'm just like... Uh no, I don't think so, because all of their references for uh, commissions are all human. Are humans furries? We're like monkey furries? Uh, we do have- we do have hair. Oh shit, maybe we are. We are furries, <laughs> no! We, oh, we are monkeys. <laughs> monkeys. <laughs> The last thing I want is for my name to be used in such a way to turn such a serious situation into a weapon against the victims and label this all as just Probably drama. The With the assistance of Lyo Convoy- <laughs> Oh, who the hell is Lyo Convoy? I, I think it's pronounced Leo Cookboy. Oh wrong. wait, no, it's Uwu <laughs> Uwu Cumboy. Oh, I'm going to ask thank for you, you to never say that ever again. That Wait, makes sense. What? I agree. I think Uwu was asking I'm not, I'm you to not calling for, call him by I'm his not, name. I'm not. I'm not falling for that slug. I'm not. I don't well, know what you guess... mean. Like, here's the thing. This is your username. I just read your username. What do you mean? Don't you start. Don't you do this. I know what. I know your game here. I know your game here. We ain't doing that. <laughs> Uwu, a <awo>. woe. <laughs> Ooh, woo. It was a good joke in the video, though. It was fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Boy Queen Serafina and the absolute bravery of the victim Crystal Flame coming out publicly with these allegations. I'm in a position now where I can share this to you in a manner it deserves. So, with that being said, who is Camilla Cuevas and what are the allegations she's facing? Quave ass. <laughs> Quave ass. <laughs> Camille Kubas. Conalingus Viku. <laughs> okay, real quick, can you pause it? Because I've got to tell at least paused. one short it story is here. Paused. <laughs> when we brought Veer in to the server to interrogate the him. The pedophile? Yeah, the pedophile. Her pedophile boyfriend. Uh, everybody had their name at some point <laughs> due to a mean change to a variation of Camilla Kuvas. So we had Camille <laughs> Cuevas, we had Camille, silly Camille. We had, so he was just in this call surrounded by people who had the profile pictures of his girl, of his ex-girlfriend's <laughs> face and her name. <laughs> it was great. God. There we go. I have my soundboard again. Oh, so dude. I love soundboards. Exactly. Like, Uwu Cumboy here has been, like, a big fan of them. Yeah, but, like, if only I had tips to the soundboard. I have that. I have it. <laughs> Yay! At least now we can, uh, we can, uh, fucking applaud ourselves for our sense of humor. Oh, that's not an applause I at all. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> I pressed the wrong fucking button. <laughs> oh god, we heard what people really think of us. <laughs> Wait, I think I got it. Uh, nope, wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> You'll get there, I believe. I'm trying to find the hole. Wait. I didn't mean it like that! Nope, fuck. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, woo, help us! Who think this is funny? Do you have the toilet one? Yes, of course. I will take you to the toilet! <laughs> Sorry, did you want to get immersed in our world? Yeah, well, guess what? Fucking pronouns! Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, wait, wait. I think I have it. Um...
Ah, here we go. Look at oh, us, yeah. chat. Yay. <laughs> We're so good. Daddy, chill. <laughs> Daddy, chill. Daddy, chill. Daddy, chill. Okay. Let's continue. <laughs> Leo's out here like, God damn it. I'm surrounded by idiots. Not no, I'm not surrounded enough. by idiots. Amelia is very intelligent. Amelia Bedelia. Yeah. She uses her Stop words. Stop quacking, bro. Stop Amelia quacking, bro. <laughs> Objection. <laughs> Nuh-uh. <laughs> is a Chilean animator and YouTuber who gained a f A Chilean? A Chilean? Yeah. yeah. Chilean. Chil-a-n. Yeah. Not Chil-ian. Well, I'm British, I make up words. Brit I, 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 I choose what, what it pep, sounds pep, like. Cheerio. Excuse Oi, you. brov. <laughs> Oi, brov. You hear this, brov? I'm gonna knock you out, bruv. Oi, yeah, bruv. Like we, that we have no original British jokes. None. It's just <laughs> the same five over and over again and into, like, eternity. God mm -hmm. save the queen, cause she's dead yet again. She lost no. all her souls and can't respawn no more. Do, we should have collected do, do, do. the chaos emeralds. Chaos control. What, what even is this stream at this point? <laughs> yeah. We're I... thinking about how to save the queen. Keep up, bro. Exactly. Would chaos Jesus, control actually help people. with it? Like, yeah, we need it? to get the seven chaos emeralds, and then Sonic can kiss her back to life. Wait, I something. thought Sonic was married to Mario, and Shadow was pregnant with the baby. No, silly. Sonic was supposed to be married to Mario, but then they got a divorce because he's actually got a huge crush on Jet the Hawk. But Jet the Hawk isn't gay, so it's broken his wee little heart. And Shadow was pregnant, but he since got an abortion because he realized that he couldn't raise a child by himself. I'm all out of Capri Sun and I have nuts. <laughs> I'm all out of Capri Sun, and I don't know why, but I feel like an intense sadness. <laughs> I feel an intense sadness. What, Jesus, over, over everything that occurred in the Sonic universe, yeah, it went it 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 really got quite depressing after season Wait. four, but it's okay. Jesus. Following. Speaking of Sonic, Sonic porn mm -hmm. is fucking weird. It. It is. That is an observation I of all time. There was a video I wanted to make covering the creator of Babysitting Cream. What the fuck did you just say? You know what I'm referencing, don't you? No, I don't. I'm it, just like, you put words together and I'm supposed to... The creator uh, of... The creator of a porn game... Oh no. Called Babysitting like Cream, where you like fuck cream alongside like Amy and Blaze like the Cat. No, I don't really don't like it. I don't like it either. I wanted I to think... make a video on the creator, but then I'm like, I feel like I'd get fully fucking banned from YouTube. Well, yeah. the truth of the matter is that, like, Slug's just mad it wasn't about Vector. Vector's hot. Why would well, that backfired immediately in my face. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm very upset with you right now. I expected better from you, Uwu. Yeah, what the no, hell, Uwu boy? Uwu, you're supposed to know that Vector is the fucking best lad. What the fuck is wrong with you? Why would yeah, you ever try to have my boy Slug here for like a very normal attraction to a very handsome man? Yeah, man, Crocodile what the fuck? Man. Why do I have a feeling that he has like a off-brand Charmy the Bee avatar? What? 
He does. You're he right. He does. He does. It will sort out your sort out your fucking profile picture. It will. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, speaking of chaos. So yeah. my friend hosts like watch parties in my server, and he invited everyone from his old server. You mm-hmm. want to know what happened? <laughs> All the people what? came in at once, and it automatically enabled raid mode. Oh, my God. <laughs> I got a DM for one of my admins being like, hey, shit's going down. We're being raided. I'm like, what? <laughs> what? I'm like, fuck. Oh, my God. But no, my friend was streaming a fight. I'm like, God damn it. Okay, let's continue with this. Uwu boy, yeah. you good? Uwu boy is good. He's just in a sulky tantrum right now because he can't shun people for loving Vector like he thought he could. We are a very positive people. <gasps> no! He did no! it. No! He did it! <laughs> he fucking did it! That fucking madman. He, he did it! <laughs> he did it! It's Uwu come boy, chat! It's Uwu uh, come boy. Hey, All I did was change my profile picture. Chat, Uwu look, it's Uwu come boy. That's beautiful. God, Lyo's like, God damn it! I introduced the two of them. It's going to be in stereo now. <laughs> it's kind of all of his fault. What happened it's in eighty seven? Thank oh, you, chat. <laughs> Is that the point of 87? Oh my god. So, I was hooking up with this chick, and she was a bit nerdy, hella cute, mm-hmm. and she brought up the FNAF movie, and me, being a little shit, I was like, hey, if I bite your tit, could I call that the bite of 87? <laughs> She got mad at me. <laughs> what? And she wasn't instantly attracted? What the fuck? Get rid. She, she was mad at me because it made her laugh. Okay. Instant what? red flag. She should be immediately just like attracted and realized Absolutely that she just found the wet perfect and ready man. to go. <laughs> that is how you attract women, chat. I am a boobologist. <laughs> As as a woman and boobologist, I can concur. That is how you make the woman happy. Yes, and you give them cheese. Yeah, boobologist. Yes, boobologist, uwu, keep up. We just call those tit inspectors. No, boobology is the professional term as the University of Boobology. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Alongside cheese, women love cheese. You boop, I boop, the study of boobology? Come boop, on, boop, bro. Boop, boop, <laughs> boop, 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 Chat, you cannot say gods. It's a female slug. One of us, one of us, one of us. Okay, let's oh, continue. Exceeding <laughs> one million. Oh, I forgot. Beep boop. Million subscribers Beep, with her Undertale Beep, fan series Glitch Tale. Considering their content revolves around Undertale, it is obvious to anyone this would mean they would have quite. I don't like the animation. The Can animation we destroy shit. It? The animation's yeah. worse than when I tried animating. The animation's and I used... worse than how I feel. Well, you're British, so you always feel bad. I know, I feel so bad. Pip, pip, cheerio! Quite a large <laughs> child audience, and with that, one would hope they would do their due diligence to keep them safe. On October 14th of 2022, the first thread was posted by Crystal Flame on Twitter. It details a timeline of events from where Crystal reported a serious- Wait, 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 wait by crystal flame mm-hmm. on twitter it details enhance yeah. 
Enhance. <laughs> oh my fuck. <laughs> <laughs> my fucking what is this? <laughs> what is this? What is this? What is this? Peaches. Yep. What is this? Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, it's what you call a profile picture. People use those on Twitter to be able to like uh, present uh, who they are in a small image. Why is it Sonic? It's not just Sonic. You fucking <laughs> stupid, stupid man. <laughs> <laughs> that, my friend, is Cold Steel the Hedgehog. The edgiest it was, motherfucker. <laughs> it was the same month that Peach's GoFundMe goal had hit a certain point, so I had to have a specific profile picture she made. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I made you one, and then I became Cold Steel the Hedgehog. Exactly. Jesus. Uh, so, okay. Like, you don't. Do you know who Cold Steel the Hedgehog is? Who the fuck Are is you Cold uncultured? Steel? You're fucking uncultured swine. I'll fucking help you out. Line. Don't worry, my broski. I need to help you from being so fucking embarrassing. You, you know don't what? know who Cold I'm Steel the mad. Hedgehog is. Okay. <laughs> But we we are now needing you. to learn. Cold Here you steel. Go. Here's cold steel the hedgehog. Get cultured, boy. It's cold steel the hedgehog. Oh Just god! Sexy. Wait. There you go. Here we go. Redesigning <laughs> cold steel the hedgehog. Yeah, this... I, I I sent you I sent you the the uh original image. I hope you're happy. There you go. Look at him go. Isn't he beautiful? What the fuck is this? It's Cold Steel, the hedgehog. On May 29th of the year 2013, a Twitter user <laughs> posted this in Is this text to speech? I I No, wait a minute. <gasps> the person that you've literally clicked on also works just works on fucking glitch tail. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> She's a voice actor for Glitchdale! Is she a pedophile? <sighs> we hope not, but we don't know. It's inconclusive. Infamous image of a crudely recolored Sonic character known as Cold Steel the Hedgehog. On <laughs> 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 Holy fucking shit. Cold steel. What I the hope fuck? you I hope you feel I hope you feel better knowing who Cold Steel is. I don't like this. Well, so, that's who it is. And okay. my friend my friend really Lumitro drew the the image that I used. So this is Cold Steel <laughs> the Hedgehog. He's edgy as fuck and we love him for it. Why does this feel like Uwu Boy's fursona? <laughs> it is his fursona. But there is no fur, only shame. Like a naked gecko. His... Well, his fur burnt off. J because of how fucking hot he is. <laughs> we went from pedophilia <laughs> to Sonic. This is your fault. Well, how is God. it my fault? You're because the you're one not with the cultured. Sonic furry you're the one that's not cultured. I'm, I'm not the being one that's not just, cultured. You're the one out it, here like oi, oi, bro. I know who cold oi, steel is. You're I the just one with your hedgehog. Oi, 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 Stop being sidetracked by furries, dude. <laughs> we both have ADHD and we're retarded. You expect us to have a brain? <gasps> Bro, it makes so much sense now. <laughs> and Lyo's out here like, okay, I need to be the adultier adult. Actually, it is all of his fault that he put two people with ADHD in the same room. Burr. Nope, I'm just glad that Peaches is having a good time talking to somebody. He's oh, like, boo-hoo. He's actually secretly crying because, like, he, he tried to vector shame you and it failed. I have Don't my worry peanuts. about it. I can... Peanuts? 
Honey roasted Well, peanuts. it's... Damn, bro. I thought the stream was getting a little nutty. I actually want this to irritate Slug. I'll just mention the fact that I bought a new Transformer today. Wait, which one? Road Holler. My brain's on 2%. It's Road a toy. Holler. I know it's a toy. <laughs> Is it Legacy? <laughs> Legacy Road Hauler? Based. It's technically Velocitron. Based. Let's see. Oh, the Velocitron selection. There was one of them. Oh, uh, God. I, okay. Sidetracked again. Velocitron. Tron. Okay. There is a figure here that I want. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Not the hot rod. The hot one, rod one is mid. Um, well, it also doesn't exist anymore. They canceled production of it. Oh, oh what's no. this? Galaxy Shuttle. Oh, oh yeah, from Victory. It's I just so a much. fucking Astro Train repaint. I know all of what's happening. I know all of Transformers. Transformers more than meet the eye. Oh, here wow, it is. What a beautiful singing voice. Transformers more than meets the eye. And um, why are you doing commentary, bro? You should be on stage. I don't know. I just do overlays for streamers now. You should thumbnails. sing for them. I did. I apologize then... for sidetracking. We should probably get back to the video. Yeah. Wait. I will be right back. I need to grab a snacky. You guys entertain chat. Um, Uwu boy, don't say anything weird. Yeah, Uwu boy. Anyway, me, the same person, will now speak. <clears throat> you should all unsubscribe from Slug. I believe that you should unsubscribe from Slug. And here are the reasons why. He doesn't un... Exactly this reason is why. And also, secondly, he eats peanuts. That is disgusting. And also, he doesn't even know what a cold steel is. Even more disgusting. Like, absolute trash. So unsubscribe from the channel. I was losing the Revolutionary War. It was, it was fine. We didn't really, we kind of didn't really want America anymore. Got bored. Cheetos, mac and cheese, bold and cheesy. And you didn't get me any? Well, you're in the UK. But I'm a guest on this channel. You should have got um, me some. Here's here's what you will receive. Let me let me uh uh <laughs> Slurbo. Oh, thank you. I feel better now. Chat, I'm not autistic. I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think? I don't know. <laughs> hmm. Okay, let's continue. Uh, Camilla Cuevas' co-writer and now ex-partner, Virtoon. Since these threads have been released, Camilla Cuevas has responded on multiple occasions, in quite a shoddy and untruthful way. She went from twit longer to paste bin. Why do I have yep. a feeling the next one will be a Pornhub comment? Oh, I cannot wait. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, imagine. Oh, oh speaking I, I of Pornhub comments. I hope she does one for every single website. Speaking of Pornhub comments, the new camera I bought has night vision. Damn, bro. Now you can do it. You can stream in the dark, bro. In the dark. Thank you, Venom. See, I'm a man of culture and content. Oh, I almost threw my camera. Okay. Uh, what the fuck is this thing? What thing? Is that a penis? 
What? What are you talking about? This thing right here. What thing? No, there's a belly button, you uncultured swine. It looked like a weird penis. Well, stop looking at my pee pee. It's so cute. I want to poke it with a stick. Oh, thank you. No problem. (laughs) 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 Oh my god. Oh god. This stream's gonna get so fucking clipped. In this video, I'm going to go through the allegations levied towards Veer, the information of other predators within the Glitchdale staff, and finally, I'll dissect Camilla's defense against these- Wait, is that a cat girl Nigel Thornberry in the background? <laughs> that is- <laughs> who, who is responsible? <laughs> well, Who I is was... responsible? <laughs> uh, well, you know how Peaches! I said it to me- <laughs> well, like, you see, you know, <laughs> stop turning me on, kid. <laughs> you must I'm pay for pish- your crimes. Pissing and shitting in the club right now, but like, you, you know could how I sell said that you- on OnlyFans <laughs> if you piss. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there is a silver lining. <laughs> but, um, you know I'm how I say I do. Right um, yeah. You know how I say I do commissions? Well, I did some stills for Harley BTS. And then I thought, fuck it, I'll make them Thornberry. So. <laughs> and then I put it in the back because it's cursed as fuck. Best, best. One of these days, you just need to hide like a little slug character in one of your videos. And he's just mm-hmm. eating a little Pop Tart with the Capri he's Sun. He's hanging out. Mm hmm. Maybe. Mm-hmm. You know what? If you know what? Fine, because you said my pee pee's cute, I'll do it. Oh my god, someone in my chat <laughs> clipped it. Let's go. Fine. I it looked like a weird penis. Well, stop looking at my pee pee. It's so cute. I wanna poke it with a stick. Oh thank you. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting that on Twitter. <laughs> okay. Uh. <laughs> I I just really want to be I I just I just I just really want to be um like a positive role model for the for the cute little pee pee havers right now. What the fuck's your Twitter at? <laughs> um. The, I'll say. Uh, <laughs> There you go. Okay, I have to translate it from British. Yeah. So it's blap blip. Blah blip blah. It's at the Great Blighty. <laughs> and this is what happens. <laughs> there you go. You can retweet that. <laughs> Poke it with a stick. For my little pee pee boys out there, pee-pee you are gang. noticed. <laughs> Chat asks Peaches, are you from Australia or New Zealand? She's from Ukraine. Ukraine? Ukraine these nuts in your mouth. That doesn't even work! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. <laughs> Wait! What the I fuck am... is that image, Lyo? What? What image? Oh, yeah. He's what saying the fuck to... is this? He's saying to respect women, but then literally tears off their hands and feet and put them in backwards. That's disgusting. What the fuck <laughs> is this? <laughs> what that is, is a this? Princess Peach Mario figure, and I found out her hands and feet have the exact same port size, so I switched them around because it's funny. <laughs> wow, I can't even I can't even right now. Eh. I know one thing that Lyo server will love. This oh tweet. my goodness. You didn't even show me the tweet, you asshole. Oh, I have to post it in here. There you go. <gasps> yeah, <little> bitch. <laughs> Thank you. Very based. Now we must investigate. Her tweeter. 
Who's tweeter? Your tweeter. No, stay off my tweeter. Hmm. I don't I want some verified person. You would mean oh, you're I verifiably don't... poggers. <laughs> <laughs> what weeb shit is this? Oh, it is funny. It listened to the fucking line delivery. Yes. <laughs>奇跡の宝石カオスエメラルドを操る宇宙で唯一のヒーロー。どうかこの宇宙を大いなる危機から救ってください。What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Uh -oh. What is this? Need to see your credentials. You know you need a doctorate in evil science to shop here. Yeah, last time I kind of sweet-talked the guy. And by sweet-talked, I mean threatened his family. I know, it was me. But since then, I've gotten divorced, so your threats are meaningless. You're looking at a man with nothing left to lose. <laughs> All right, I just need to see your credentials. Sonic Boom was unironically good. <laughs> right? It was just a fucking shit fest. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Why is your thumb so small? It's not my fist, it's Lyo's! <laughs> Lyo, why is your thumb so small? I don't know, I didn't make it. Are you sure? How would I make myself exactly? Why are there titties? I like titties. Okay. I'm a biologist. <laughs> Wait, we can't show Lyo, he's a man of God. Yeah, don't look, Lyo. It goes against Jeebus. There you don't go. There's something the for you concerning my hands. Big meaty claws! <laughs> Big meaty claws! Claws! <laughs> Jesus. This stream's chaotic as shit. Let's continue the video about a pedophile. <laughs> Yay! Yay, pedophiles! <laughs> These predators and her public responses. Each portion will be timestamped. With that being said, let's start from the beginning. Veer Tune was a co-writer and co-owner of Camilla Cuevas' Glitch Tale series on YouTube. Veer was a public part of the series from March 19th of 2016 up until December 3rd of 2020. Did the animation improve? Yeah, she learned how to trace. Okay. She should have learned how to rotoscope. Imagine if she could. Now Imagine that's the kind of animation she should be doing. Exactly. That's all rotoscoping is. Tracing. Exactly. She should be doing like really cool sick flips and rotoscoping it. Flippy dippies. I'm not, I'm unsubscribing until, well, I'm not subscribed at all. Well, I will subscribe if she does cool, sick action in the rotoscope set. Chat. I'll take down all my videos on doesn't see any of it. Chat, she what? doesn't see what I'm doing. What? What are you doing? No! <laughs> <laughs> no, please, I need my subscribers. <laughs> How about this? Wait, I was going to do a bet with, like, YouTube memberships. Fuck. What? What? Eh. We play party animals after. Mm-hmm. Video game fun. Damn. 21, with his last contribution being towards the season finale of season 2. During this time of Veer being a known figure in the Glitchtail and Undertale community as a whole, he has admitted to preying upon several miners within the fandom. Oi, bruv! This nonce over here did the pip pip cherry out to a young Spaker Mash! I don't think I'm gonna survive this stream. I don't know. Lyo can survive it. You can. I don't think I can because, like, you just keep reminding me about how British I am and it's really hurting my soul. I put my pants on one nipple at a time, one nipple at a time. Wait, this was a year ago. What? Wow. How was this a year ago? I just saw this. Uh, that's true. You are correct. Whenever you see things, that's when it came out. 
You're so you're so cool. You can't believe I'm time so bends around guy. you like that. It's I'm really just a little guy. Okay, you know back what? to pedophilia. The- <laughs> <laughs> My transitions fucking suck. Veer Tune was a co-writer and co-owner of Camilla Cuevas' Glitch Tale series on YouTube. Veer was a public part of the series from March 19th of 2016 up until December 3rd of 2021, with his last contribution being towards the season finale of season 2. During this time of Veer being a known figure in the Glitch Tale and Undertale community as a whole, he has admitted to preying upon several minors within the fandom, using his status as Camilla's partner and co-writer to coax these kids into a false sense of security. Is that Skype? Yeah. Ew. When Crystal Flame was 13 years old, Veer brought them into a chat with himself and Camilla Cuevas and asked this kid- Who the fuck is Waddles? Waddles is Crystal. Oh. It ...to be his wingman to get sexually explicit images from his then-girlfriend, Camilla. I have extreme desires- <laughs> That I fight off literally. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? Why? What is this? He's a crazy man. He didn't sniff enough hobby glue that day. Oh, we need to get this man more glue. Get this man glue. Lyo, it's the look. extreme desires clip, man. Oh god. Lyo, look at the up. screen share. I'm looking at it. I'm just my phone's still charging. Why is your phone charging? Because I had it on and in call most of the day, so it died. Why? Which why to what? Why? Don't do this to me. Answer please. the man, Uwu. We believe I did. In you. I- Oh my goodness, I'm going to get back to being muted. Wow, he can't answer you. You intimidated him. I'm posting the poking the PP clip in Lyo's server. No one can stop me except Lyo. (laughs) Yeah, don't don't do that. You can put it in Senate, but don't put it in like the book of I'm not in the Senate. Let me in. I I'll let you in. You from- Don't worry. I'll let you in. I'll make you. I'll make. I'll give you mod access and everything Based. for no reason. Based. Yeah, bro. Literally, I'm the coolest. It's Based. literally my server because uh, Jackie Animation said so. Based. It's all mine. Okay. Transfer. Read first. Okay, I know how to read. Perfect. Yeah. I learn how to read, bitch. What's you you gotta you you gotta tell me. Age, please. Give me your ID. Damn, bro, you're fucking old. Why don't you go take a look at the rules, slug? (laughs) What just Oh god. (laughs) <laughs> this is not a predator hunting server and will not be no poor and lewd suggestive works blah 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 let's see okay perfect Um, there we go. I put it in the wrong channel, didn't I? I don't know. I'm making you a special roll, don't worry, to make you feel at home. I wonder how long it's going to take for the peanuts to think that Slug's taking a shot at me and they try to dogpile him. Oh, that'd be funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> that would be funny. Jeez. Let's see. Artists. Okay. Art people. They exist somehow. The peanuts. P. 
peanuts. Sorry, I said penis. Early Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> Ayo. 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 Penis. Ayo. 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 <laughs> penis. Ayo. Ayo. Every single day. Technically, I'm a addict that feels physical pain when I don't handle situations. Naturally, I can't talk to you about stuff like this, so I just ignore it and fight off all urges and stuff even though other women offer to help take care of this horrible problem. I've been fighting it off our entire relationship, and I was prepared to just feel the weight of the world on my shoulders until we get truly together or whatever. But God, Cammie, it's just so hard, and I don't think you understand it. But how could you? I just hope you appreciate my efforts because it's one of the most difficult things I've ever done. Now, I understand this may be embarrassing. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god, Shadow the Edgehog wrote that, <laughs> didn't he? Didn't he? What? Why was it so yeah. edgy? Oh, he... I've I've got like his entire chats in Skype with Crystal. They're literally so edgy. It's just uh, like yuck. <laughs> he talks like that the entire time, and he never lets up. Chat. We are here with Lyo Convoy and Hopeless Peaches. We are. I'm learning about pedophiles and how they're cringe. Hooray. Also, Hopeless is mad that I have thicker thighs, so let that be known. No. Don't tell people my insecurities. I'm not dodo walling you, Brian. <laughs> I'm streaming, making content, being an e-girl. <gasps> yeah. You be the e-girl, babe. Ah! Yeah, you go, hon. You get those sip money. Yes. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> Get him with those thick thighs of yours. This is therapy reasons, isn't it? <laughs> I did read your text because I, I have an Apple Watch, you booba. A booba? Thank you. Le booba. Hey, yo, booba. Lad bubba. There we go. Embarrassing for Camilla. I know I'm certainly uncomfortable just reading this, but for- Wait, wait, wait. What was that? Embarrassing for Camilla. I know I'm- Okay, yeah. I thought it was a different type of sweat detail. I was like, wait, 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 wait. That seems sus. I'm only sus sometimes. We all know- that Lyo Convoy, his waifu is Rouge the Bat. That's true. The who's... Wait. Do you mean Uwu? Yeah, Uwu Convoy. Yeah, I thought so. I no. think you pronounced it strangely. Wrong. Yeah. How is it wrong, Uwu? Uwu? Convoy. Because it is. I do not have a stereotypical waifu, and it certainly isn't Rouge the Bat. <laughs> How would it not be Rouge the Bat? Number one, I'm already happily married to an attractive woman. And number two, if I had a wife, it would be Catwoman. Um, no, Uwu, uh, because the only wife you should have is a waifu, which is Rouge the Bat. No. I say you get a divorce and just get with Rouge the Bat instead. And I'm not there going to go. get together with a fictional character. <laughs> I don't know, man. No I... Attitude. <laughs> so I I don't remember. Oh, God. So a friend of mine, she was dating mm -hmm. a guy who mm -hmm. got jealous because she got horny for Miguel O'Hara from Spider-Man no. 2099. And he was legitimately worried that Miguel O'Hara from Spider-Man would steal mm -hmm. his girl. That's because he's real. You gotta be wary. You gotta watch yeah, out. It's it's weird. I'm certainly <laughs> uncomfortable just reading this, but for fuck's sake, 
This very intimate and sexually charged conversation took place around a minor. I just can't take it. <laughs> the combo seriously with Nigel Uwu Berry in the background. <laughs> <laughs> just look at me, Dorothy. <laughs> You leave. You, he's a very serious individual. Look at me! Oh, well. Holly Thornberry's serious. <laughs> Crystal was brought in with a direct purpose of making the chat more sexual. With that knowledge, Camilla, who was 20 years old at the time, should have reprimanded their then 21-year-old boyfriend for his degeneracy around a minor. This is made worse with this woman after knowing he's a creep around kids, then allowing Veer to be in group chats with minors as young as 12 years old, as Camilla stupidly and dangerously made literal children moderators for her server, which, by the way, never do this. You're a scumbag if you do. So wait, I'm not allowed to use child labor? No. Why? Because they're shit at their jobs. Honestly, yeah. <laughs> Wah. In this yeah, chat, this. they would continue to be openly sexual with minors, with people like audio designer Strelok and main man Camilla around to see. Crystal, I'll wear a latex mask that looks like Michael's face and make you call me daddy as I break your hip and th Problem. Uh... Problem. Problem. You got a problem? Problem. You're not I, getting swayed by his Riz. What? If that's Riz, I'm retarded. You are, yeah. This is why lollicons are <laughs> pedophiles. So true. So true, Gigi. So true. Three places with a pounding that'll make a baboon turn away in fear. <sighs> I know he's talking to a child because any grown woman, when asked that or even told that, would be like, yeah, no, that's weird. That's a medical bill. That's a medical bill, bruh. That's a whole medical bill. Break your hip in three places. You gonna dislocate both hips and then snap it? I'll in your mouth and make passionate tongue. What? Ah! What? Yeah. Why? Because he has no riz and he's talking to children. I understand the no riz, but does he have a scat fetish? Yes. Literally, yes. My liver is lucky that I'm using a bottle of Bacardi as a counterweight for my microphones. <laughs> it's tragic, I know. With you, spreading my fecal matter across both of our faces, you little s boy. This is stuff Camilla knew about from 2015. Unacceptable and downright disgusting. You were in both of these chats and- UNACCEPTABLE! Both adults, you sick fucks. During these Skype chats, they would also admit to Crystal in private the fact that he and another member, who was also a minor by the way, would watch on the side to judge the underage girls to bring them into erotic role plays, and in the end settled on a 14 year old girl- Peaches, how do you deal with these people? Alcohol. Alcohol and a loaded gun. Oh, um, I got actual good emote right here. Um, where is it? There we go. Look at that. Look at that. That's fucking pog, dude. Uh, 
That makes me feel better. That's perfect. Right as Uwu Come Boy says big meaty claws. (laughs) 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 But no, I you can't you don't deal with these people because they literally uh, I just I wish I could, but I hate them. God. It is it's fucking nutty, dude. Jesus. Girl Alcoba's victim B. Okay, so back when I was with L, we RP sexed a lot. But B would commonly join in for the three way. Because of that, I knew pretty much all her turn ons and f- and I fulfilled <sighs> Who the fuck is the curly haired bitch? That's Crystal. Jesus. Filled most of them. Wow, that's quite something. Thirteen percent of the mod squad has seen my is what I said. Um, how did B get across to you that she wanted to join in the RP? Was she blunt about it, or did she give off little hints? Well, one of my big things was always a th- so Al and I kind of watched the other female members, and judged who would be good for it. We came to B, and asked if she wanted to participate. At first she just wanted to watch, but after about a week, she was begging for my dick. In 2019, they would confess to another individual, I'll go over it a bit, Artie Chan, that he had seen most of the glitch tail ladies, and would make sexual comments about said minors with Artie. The fact that Artie here replies with saying that she's also seen pictures of this minor is an extra level of fucked up, but not surprising, as we'll be going over her in a bit. In the same conversation, Bear also confesses more directly to sending and receiving nudes from a minor, with him trying to dismiss this action by recalling the age of consent in the UK, despite this grown man who- grew Wait, these... wait, wait, what the fuck role is this? What the fuck role is this? <laughs> Latino mollusk baby. <laughs> Can I at least have my fucking mod as fucking reparations at that point? Jesus. Never. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> Jesus. That is. <laughs> we just need someone to draw like a baby slug. Like, imagine <laughs> imagine this little fella as, like, a little baby. Uh, where is it? The wee baby. <laughs> He's just a little guy. He's the wee little baby guy. He's a little baby. <laughs> little baby guy. <laughs> little baby. Little baby guy. Oh, I know she was too young, but, like, she was 16 in age of kids. Stinky. US was 25 years old and this girl was only 16, which by the way, you have to be 18 to be sending erotic images. Alongside that, he also confesses to seeing another minor who was 14. I know she was. I have a feeling Lyo hated recording these lines. Yeah, it's a good thing he didn't record the lines. Yeah, Uwu Comboy did. Yeah, Uwu didn't either. It's amazing. Who did? A guy called Hate. How do you get me mixed up with Hate? I can actually <laughs> emote. I don't know. I don't know who Hate is. Just a little guy. He's oh. a little mollusk baby. <laughs> oh, speaking of Hate, did you play the the another... Crab's treasure game? The demo? What is that? It's cool. Okay, detour. (gasps) Yay, another detour. Yay! We're never getting out of this hellscape. (laughs) We don't know what's happening anymore. Wait, wait, wait. What is this? (laughs) You ready to do this, Wait, no. Wait. Okay, let me put in a timestamp real quick. Just so I can put the Nick DiGiovanni tag in the description for reviews. Oh my god. Look, I'm a YouTuber, not a plebeian. Get that dough, queen. Okay. Manny? I'm always ready. All right. All right. This is my cameraman, Manny. Well, 
was my cameraman, Manny. Now we're just friends. In this video, we're gonna talk about why Manny is leaving the channel. We're gonna start by going all the way back to the beginning, talking about some of our behind the scenes secrets that we've never shared with you. Things like the real truth behind Gordon Ramsay or the time he almost died on an ATV trip in Indonesia or how Manny got fired for the first time. Manny, let's just start by saying it. You are no longer my cameraman. How does that feel? It's weird. Outside of what me and Nick do together, I'd say that we're pretty close friends. Yeah. So it's a lot. It's a hard break to make, um, but it makes sense. I mean, that night we talked on the phone not that long ago about kind of going our separate ways. Like, yeah. I think, I don't know about you. We were on the phone, but I like I was I was crushed. Yeah, I know. I was, too. It was it's tough. It was a really tough call to make. I want to start out with. So, hmm. Mm. Okay, I'm bored. I got bored. Peaches, help. I got bored. You got bored? No! Who could Not have seen even this a minute coming? in! Who could have seen this coming? No! Well, I never come. Don't worry. Neither does anyone else. Especially you. Especially me. Virgin I always stay put. There's no point going outside my house. I have nuts. Too young, but she was 16. An age of consent and stuff, IDK. We didn't think about it too much since it wasn't IRL. But I mean, she's seen me and I've seen her at this point. So, because truth and dare will do that. I think Miner has also seen me before. Crystal and the other Miners affected came together to discuss what happened in 2020, and decided it'd be best for two of them to come to Camilla about all of this. To cut through the crap, Camilla Cuevas already knew about at least some of Vir's sexual acts towards children since 2015, <coughs> as she was an active part of the group chat between herself, Vir, and 13-year-old Crystal, as well as the little glitch kill group chat that... fucking wild. So, did she have a change of heart? In July of 2020, a victim owl Gubbers B sent a file of evidence and a letter to Camilla Cuevas about how they were used by Veer. After this letter was received, Crystal and Camilla had a conversation about what- So, and Camilla is not doing shit to ever change. Hmm. No. Why? She's a silly, goofy boy. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. hmm. This just feels like an appropriate image to describe this drama. <laughs> like, yeah. what is the possible resolution for it? Nothing. Really? Because, like, if she... I don't think that you can really resolve it, because it's already happened. And then Camilla's and everyone else who knew about it, like, literally everyone has all proven that they didn't care that they never will care, and they will threaten and harass people behind the scenes just to hide what they've done. Hmm. If they owned up to it immediately and actually said what they did wrong, then at least then it would, you know, like genuinely owned up to what they did then at least then they would have with their own words gave closure to the victims who they let down mm -hmm. but they don't even want to do that they just they're just so far up their own asses hmm and like has this had any effect on them or is it just like a fart in the wind oh calling this stuff out yeah no, because every single Undertale creator refuses to call it out. And... Like, bruh. Just bruh. That's, that's, why I, that's why I'm suspicious of every single big Undertale creator at this point, because I'm like, they all, they all did stuff for Glitchtail at one point or another, because she has, like, nearly a million subs... So she's very high up there. Underverse as well by uh, Jail Penulosa, who also allowed predators in her server too, and knew about Veer 
and then lied about ever knowing about it. Um, like they they've done stuff for both of those things, and have constantly refused to say anything about it, despite the fact that they pointed their their child audience to those to those shows. So no, they're all creeps and weirdos. Our children. God. Uh, so basically, like, how how do we? How does anyone get like? Sorry, I found pizza. 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 Pizza pie. Uh, I think the the most that does need to be just done is just keep spreading the word because. Um, the Undertale community, even though they know what's happened, uh, because, like, literally, Kabila's server was one of the biggest Undertale servers, and all of them knew about what happened, because Camilla doesn't know how to shut her mouth and when, so they all know that it happened. They just refuse to talk about it, and refuse to cut her off, and refuse to cut others off. That's why, like, if it was a month, or a couple months, like, that's one thing, maybe the word hasn't spread around quite yet, but it's been a year since it's came out. Hmm. They all know about it, and they refuse to cut to cut her off. So, unless they're literal children, then I'm side-eyeing them as well. Yeah, like, it's really fucking weird. It's one thing if it was drama. I would understand not wanting to get involved in drama, but if you've been pointing children to that content and then find out that was there was 24 predators, not just in like and then 10 of them were not just moderators, but people who met Camilla in person. Like, that's just fucking freaky as fuck. And they don't want to say anything about it. And they keep up their pro glitch tail stuff on their channels as well. So they're all a bunch of freaks because every time I found a creator who didn't want to call it out, I found out that they knew about the predation and or they're a predator themselves. Every time. And people that's how we bumped, wonder... that's how we bumped up the number to twenty four. Because <laughs> Jesus. And people wonder why they say like video game YouTubers are like pedophiles and shit. But the thing is, like, I genuinely believe that Undertale as a whole, as a whole fandom, has been has has been co-opted by a massive like predator ring, and a whole lot of pedophiles feel safe there. Which I'm not surprised because of like how much they normalize um like Lollycon in that cert in that community as well. Even though a load of children are there, on top, like, well, on top of the fact there's a load of children in there, like, is fucking creepy so wait, as anything. Why, why isn't it talked about more? Because you've got the creators who profit off of all the other creators still being relevant. So, for instance, Undertale's been out since what was it, 2012? And they yeah. have, so they have two options. They can either make sure that everyone else stays relevant, which is Underverse, which Jackie Animations, JL Penulosa made, a creep and a predator enabler, and like things like Glitch Tail made by Camilla Cuevas, predator enabler, and by an actual pedophile as well, and a load of other pedophiles on staff. Actually, there was a load of pedophiles on staff on... Uh, uh, at, least, at least one in fucking... Uh, Jail Penulosa's stuff uh, for Underverse. If she used or if she used Strelok as well for audio design, um, but uh, but I think I have to double check on if he worked on that. But either way, um, she still knew about the predation, joined in on it, talked sexually about children and two children, and knew what Veer was doing. Same as Camilla and. They're the only ones that are relevant in the Undertale community at the moment. So the other adults who are creators 
they don't want to cancel them. They don't want to expose them for what they are. They don't want to expose the fact that Glitch Tale was literally made by a group of pedophiles. And this isn't a joke. It's real. A group of pedophiles. Not because they like Undertale, because they always take the piss out of it and have never cared, but because it was popular and kids liked it and they wanted to bait children into their like group chats. And that's literally the only reason why Camilla Cuevas' like, animation was made. She made it for Veer, who wrote the majority of it. But, um... Like, it, that's literally what it is. And nobody wants to call it out, because if they become irrelevant, then they become irrelevant. So they don't mind if a lot of children get preyed on, or if they teach other kids it's okay for adults to be like that and they don't care that they constantly point kids to that content because they get clout by them having clout and all the kids who grew up in in the community were groomed to think it's okay by all the adults in that community hmm. it's a massive spider web of predation and with how many adults I've seen defending it, they're, they're literally just they're literally only one step down from the pre from the actual predators. They keep going, oh well I'm not a predator myself. Well you know better because you allow it. You enable it. You normalize it. You let it happen. That's actually and a lot fucking worse. Well, I wouldn't say worse because they're not doing the direct damage. Like, I'd put a bullet in the head of every single predator I've come across. But, like, they're fucking no better in the fact that they normalize it and they let it happen. Like, they... <laughs> and none of them want to talk about it. And everyone that I've seen that doesn't want to talk about it, I've always found skeletons in their closet too. Because no self respecting adult would ever make content for children and then point them to something where so many predators have been caught in that community and still allow it to happen. Not a single normal person would, but the Undertale community does. <sighs> the internet's full of awful shit. The only good thing is dog video. Exactly. But I think that the Undertale community definitely needs just wiping out because yeah. I've not seen a single, I've genuinely not seen a single uh, big creator, even medium size or any, I've not seen a fucking Undertale creator, like, period, talking about this stuff and denouncing it. The only time, like, I've seen them say something is to victimize themselves and then you look slightly into what they've slightly into what they're doing and they're threatening victims behind the scenes and then you go wow what's that there's a whole lot of chats of you also being sexual to kids and allowing it to happen no shit so it's insane honestly yeah uh... so i just i i gen if if one of them wants to if any undertale creator sees this and sees me sees me ranting and thinks that I'm in the wrong, prove me wrong then and actually call it out. Here's what I've been doing. I've been being a bit of a dick lately. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm just going to say it outright. Hey, if you don't call out the pedophilic shit in that community, you're a pedophile. I wouldn't say that, but they're definitely enablers at this point. The ones who well, have I say never it to heard be of... hyperbolic. <laughs> I say it to be hyperbolic to cause well, people to get a very angry response and call it out because well, it's that like... would backfire because obviously you don't want to be spreading shit that isn't true. You always want to be saying what's real no, because I get the that. moment that it's someone handy. can chips once someone can chip at the thing that you're saying. They'll always chip, they won't stop, and then they'll just pretend that everything's a farce that you're saying. But they are predator enablers, and they, yeah. and especially if they're, if I, like, every, con every content creator in the Undertale community 
who has made stuff for Glitch Tale, whether they did little voice acting roles, whether they did music for it, whether they did um, content around it as fan stuff. And, you know, they've got a platform and they push people to that content and they haven't called it out. That's fucking suspicious. If they're a kid, I'll let it slide because the whole Undertale yeah, community... you're a keeps... dumbass kid. You're a dumbass kid, you don't know what's going on, and knowing that community, you're probably being groomed by adults into thinking it's all fine. Because, Jesus Christ, I should not have found 24 predators in, like, the same area. Jesus. When, like, most of them are children. But, like... It, it, it's gotten to a point where we've gotten to a year in and I've not seen a single Undertale creator actually say something. I'll see one or two where someone goes, oh, they, they retweeted what you said. And that's after a lot of fucking mulling it over, like nearly a year about thinking through like the consequences of it. What fucking consequence? Like, <laughs> what consequence is there? Like, oh no, if I share this... Kids may not get harmed anymore. What good? That's literally the only thing you should care about. But they don't care about it's that. Weird. They just think it's about just... their clout. Yeah. Like, but the funny thing is, weird. even if you think about it, even if you think about it the clout way, like none of them have thought like, "Oh, I could be the first Undertale creator to call this out." Imagine they don't, the they don't even think. Of, they don't even think about that. They just like, no, if those two if those two creators are irrelevant, then I'm irrelevant. Like, then maybe you should be irrelevant if that's what you're thinking. If that's how you if that's how you're doing things, genuinely. I'm not gonna lie. Uh this is kind of why like commentary on a lot of this stuff is dying, because it's all the same shit. It's mm-hmm. like like for example, with uh non-art commentary every Mm -hmm. there's a huge like doxing epidemic like everyone's doxing people and this whole community is now like anti-doxing despite the fact that they don't want to call it out and they'll lie about people too they'll claim that the commentary it's because the commentary community from what i've seen because it's not it's no different from the art commentary community. Exactly. If 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 you did something, if if you were if you were straight laced, if you did your shit, if you were open and honest, and you just posted what you genuinely thought and you had fucking morals, it would not matter if somebody knew what your real name is, because nobody shows up, nobody cares, and your boss wouldn't give a shit either. But people do duplicitous things online. And that is why they're worried about doxes all the time. They're worried about the fact that their bosses find out. The amount of people where they're just like, oh, well, what if my boss finds out? Like, you put yourself in that position. If, like, it's it's public. If you weren't being a twat online, there'd be nothing to show anyone in the first place. And I think that's why doxing is one of those things where, like, it's a massive taboo in the commentary community, but also people do it all the time because yeah. it, it's one of those where people like, go like, oh, the they must be they must be as bad as me. So they think that it would wor- ruin people just knowing their name when like here's most thing, normal people, though. it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like I've doxed a guy before because he was uh-huh. doxing kids. Like he and was doxing fine. children. And, and the funny thing... Yeah, that's fine. And the funny thing is, is that like what most people in the commentary community call a dox isn't even a dox. It's already oh. public information. Oh, I did the real thing because I have a degree in cybersecurity and shit like that. I did the home address, all of that. That is public information. Not in Canada. Not in Can. Oh, not in Canada. Well, you should not Where the not person be- is. Okay. Here in the U.S., it is public information, but all these people don't give a shit. Like, commentary in general doesn't give a shit. Everyone doesn't give a shit. Like, Mm -hmm. had to... Because now their whole new thing is guilt by association. 
which is weird. Didn't they do that to you? No, uh, everyone should have been done by guilt by association because they literally did genuinely associate with duplicitous people. No, the thing with the thing with me is I was done because um, I soft blocked somebody, and then I found out I'd been groomed by one of my friends and abused as a kid. So wanted to end my life. And then everyone thought, ah, this is the perfect time to try and push her into actually doing it. And um, everyone saw it as a big game to the point where they were literally admitting online that they stalk people, that they stalk me and fake screenshots and nobody gave a shit because it was all creep show art shit. And then when yeah. she got outed, everyone pretended, like, everyone pretended. They all thought that she was bad from the beginning, and I'm like, you all, you're all fucking assholes for li for like blatantly lying. Honestly, like so many people because she had the crossover with the normal commentary community and the it art was just community. and the art community. Yeah, it got really big and really wild to the point where, uh, for instance, as a point of reference, um, I had ninety seven. K subs and in about two weeks I dropped down to 70 K subs what the uh, fuck? over over not offing myself. Then you've got someone like Spock to Tech who admitted to having the nudes of a 13 year old girl on a hard drive past his 18th birthday and laughed about the fact he could pretend of pretend getting rid of them and um he has oh he has about over 300,000 subs and he's barely lost he's he's not lost anything barely anything like a couple thousand or so and Jesus. no one spoke and no one spoke about it because everyone's his friend well welcome it's just to one the of those slug things. empire peaches we're at war with everyone it's except just... Lyo because Lyo who is still Lyo? Oh, Uwu Kumboy. Oh, thank oh okay, yes. Yeah. Apart from Uwu, Uwu Kumboy. Oh, owes come on! <laughs> <laughs> the fucking dying in the middle of the statement, too! <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, this is, like, at this point, I'm, I'm slowly just like, you know what? Fuck it. Anti-commentary? That's cringe. Slug Empire? You can put that on a shirt. Because, like, you can do good things with commentary. That's why... You can. That's why, like, I'm not gonna throw out doing commentary stuff on things like the, oh, yeah. the Camilla situation, or, like, the Coyote stuff that I brought, spoke about, because you can do good shit with it. Yeah. It's just that when you try and make commentary a upload every friday thing you start scraping the bottom of the well real quickly and on top of that the situations that do deserve actual attention don't get any attention whatsoever it's just like oh it's drama lol let's do a quick thing and then it's like um actually you could have actually spoke about the fact it's serious and it's like no time no time 10 minutes of video 10 minutes of video upload every friday and it's it's you know, fucking insane it's, it's insane you can't you can't you it's basically like the fucking mcdonald's of commentary content like yeah. it's like cool you play you did some gameplay and just said your personal opinion about something you didn't even think about and you don't care about just because you need to upload this week like just shut the fuck up and upload once a month and actually like look into it like you could just do that that's why i just do whatever i want <laughs> Like that if is you a look, better way. yeah, like you look at my channel, majority of my growth is from YouTube shorts of my dog, but I'll stream, I'll talk about shit, I'll talk to people, I'll play video games, I'll edit overlays, I'll do mm -hmm. shit. Like, exactly, it's more, it's it's better that way. And if people packaged it as like this is my opinion, I think that's why I don't mind people doing streams over, um, situations because. Everyone can tell it is literally just an opinion of what they're yeah. seeing as they're going through it. But when people do a video and it's edited and it's sorted out, 
none of them ever make it out as if it's their opinion. They make it out as fact, and then by the time like random bullshit gets spread around, the the truth is only just getting sorted out, and it doesn't get anywhere, and it's just garbage. I got distracted by a knife making video. God damn it! I know I can see it, and you're distracting me. Like, th there's not a single brain cell between the two of us, is there? No. What is? Put the knife back on. <laughs> knife. Obsidian nif. Obsidian nif. Nif. We immediately just left the video about the pedophilia. Well, obviously you can go yeah. through or whatever, but, but just, like, I won't lie. I've been. <laughs> it's a long video. Well, yeah, you keep getting distracted while you go through it. Well, yeah, it's a long video. Mm hmm. What is this? Lego. Legum, legum, no. Okay, too long. Got bored. Um, the Cybertruck scooter, no, no. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you have Xbox Game Pass? No. Do you have party animals? No. Fuck. Though I will have to say, I am getting EP sleepy. Same. Because I am. I'm from Brit Bongland. It's like Britusians. It's 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 late into the wee night. Yes. And chat, I do have to agree. It is late in the wiener night. It's late inside of the wiener. So I will do this for everyone, chat. Uh huh. Many things will be done. But I do need to do this. Since we mm -hmm. did not reach the member goal, this VOD will go members only, and I will upload the clips. But I have to tell you guys something. Mm 